What's going on guys? Jurassic Guess here, so we're back to Dying Light 2. So if you guys are curious what the deal is between Killian and Hakan, looks like they actually served in the military together. I'm pretty sure that's Hakan right there and possibly Killian right there. He gets very angry if you don't sit there and go to sleep, by the way. But yeah, there's Hakan with, I'm assuming, Killian and his daughter. Stronger. <laughs> Find me. Morning. Thank you here. Most to the right, Edith. Got me. Yeah, very funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. Markers of the Plague. Alright, infected man exploration. Stay inside. Howlers will get you to be chased. We get it. Because if the howler spot you. Yeah, I know. I don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids. There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Might have accidentally alerted the zombie horde. Do you know what? They never saw it coming. The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. Found the bus. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Might have caused a little bit of an issue, but you know it will be fine. Or not. Neutral territory. The lock is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. I'm at the main entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. That's another thing that's kind of weird. Why can nobody else do that? <laughs> hey! This way. Big building, huh? GRE took over quite a few of these for drug research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them loads of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. Alright, so don't sit around and loot the whole time is basically what he's saying. Uh, door's locked. Need me to do it for you. Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? I can't. I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lockpicks out of that. But it appears we've looted enough already to where the game's like, meh, it's good. Alright, so let's see, we can make 20. We'll just make two for now. I don't know if scrap's going to be used for other stuff or not. Good work. Lockpick, yada yada. Vibration's bad. Open her up. I can try. Not too bad. You didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Our guy sounds kind of annoyed. 
Alright, so Hakan has completely abandoned us, so we better catch up. <laughs> Alright, hold on, we're coming. What's all that green stuff glowing on the ground? Alright, so he jumped backwards just like a zero. But we did not get our stamina back. I'll be fine. Gonna do all that fancy stuff. We're part zombie. Fuck. You gonna do the thing? Do I need to help you again? Oh, some help. There you go. That won't work. Shh. Let's go. This way. Should have slid a brick in there. Then it wouldn't have closed all the way. Allow me. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. Ah, it's feeling in the mood for some brains. I might have to eat you. This hospital. I've been somewhere like this. My head's spinning. I'm just feeling woozy all of a sudden. It must be the infection. Well, don't give in. We'll get you a marker, and you'll know where you stand. Yeah. Thanks. It's never a good idea telling people that you've seen visions from the past and that it might be, you know, like a symptom of turning into a zombie, so we're not trying to admit that. Where did Hakan just go? Okay, I guess he teleported down the stairs without us. There he is. Sleeping biters are limited. Pass around. Keep your distance. Stick underneath tables. Okay, there's a lot more if you use <laughs> your survivor sense. It didn't seem too bad. Oh, yeah, we messed that up. Mind me. Well, good news is they're heavy sleepers. So we'll come around here, search that real quick. All right, everybody inside this room is kind of sleeping. There's this one table laid out here. And it's a good thing zombies don't know how to look underneath tables or else we'd be dead right about now. All right, so everybody's taking a little bit of a nap. We can just go along just like so. Wasn't too bad. 
What is that? Chemical I smell horrible in here. Nasty shit. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Oh, so it's some sort of like foam or something they sprayed to kill people. Didn't they explain what happened to the people outside the village though. Golden Queen. I just noticed they spelled it different. You tell me your survivor sons can't pick up those three zombies sleeping in front of us? <laughs> Lay it on top of his head. Well, Hakan seems to be in a huge rush just like before. Come on, buddy. Alright, so turn on your flashlight. He's just going to be slowly walking. I'm assuming we have to go through that door. Or maybe the elevator. Elevator it is. All right. Be careful. It's not stable. Come on. Oh, you're not going to catch me? Give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. Alright, so it looks like we gotta run around behind us. Let's see, do we have enough stamina to do this? I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white, green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. All right, so inhibitors, cool. Search around inside the chest. Pretty convenient that there's another one inside of here. So... Inhibitors kill most people. So it's a con trying to kill us immediately, or how did he know that we would live? We got company. Who bothered him? Don't move. You can't handle that. I know. I've seen this fucker. Got a purdy mouth. I wonder how you become one of the better zombies. Like, is it just luck? Do the like a standard zombie scratch you and you can just happen to turn into a nice one? Or do you have to be attacked by one of the bigger ones? All right, survivor sense, tables, zombies walking. Nice and easy. Let's see, so we'll just do this. 
That zombie appears to be running forward, so we can just continue on to the next one. As long as we don't trip on the table, we should be fine. Alright, this dude. Where's he going? You turn around. I see your shadow there. Alright, we're good. So there's some loot inside that chest there, but I'm not entirely wanting it considering the fact that everything's going on. Which I mean we got plenty of loot anyway, so it's not like we need it. If that infected find you, you're dead. We're all infected, buddy. Hate to tell you that. I assume they're all infected at least. Chicken 80. Is it because all Jerry facilities look alike? Or was he actually in this specific one? So obviously his handprint wasn't there, but that doesn't necessarily mean too much considering the fact that they could have just painted over it. Because they weren't in an apocalypse just quite yet. So we got some pants, some stuff that we don't want to necessarily root out, and we're good. Ask for it, assuming it's some sort of medicine. All right, three inhibitors, you can upgrade your skill. Search for the crates around the world. All right, you need three inhibitors to upgrade stamina or health, and I'll choose stamina to be able to climb higher. Ooh, and it increased their immunity just a little bit too. I took the inhibitor. Oh, fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I will. <sighs> Alright, well now that we gotten past all the zombies, take a little bit of a shortcut back. Hello. Now we're on the right trail again. Stamina. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible jump. Hold on. Were we just not at the right height or something? Yeah, we were on the wrong height. There we go. Huh. Are you in one piece? <laughs> Maybe a few pieces. I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. Okay, so zombies are basically vampires in this world thing that we know where to go. <laughs> We're definitely not going to get lost. I don't think we can fight you just quite yet. Someday, maybe. Not today. Alright, so we got 22 seconds to get to the exit. Ah, plenty of time. These must be a special type of zombie then if they can't go out in the daylight. That was close. Oh, what would you do without me, Pilgrim? <laughs> I never wanted to become a pilgrim. I just sort of fell into it. I roamed the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. 
Sister. Yeah, her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together. I think a guy named Waltz was experimenting on us. A lot of nut jobs in the world, huh? Yeah. I have to learn the truth. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? Don't know yet. We'll settle down somewhere. I'll find some place for us to live. Yeah, some place quiet. Gotta settle down somewhere now that I'm infected. Where will you go? Any place is better than this city. Ha, <laughs> well, that's a pretty low bar. I'll find a place where people aren't afraid of pilgrims. Aren't afraid of me. It'd be nice not to have to run and hide for a while. I always wanted to catch fish. <sighs> fish are good. Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the roots. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Uh... <laughs> I mean, for now, you're keeping us alive. So we'll probably go with the deal, but I don't know if I fully trust you yet, since you did take us to a house where your buddy almost killed us all. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. UV shrooms. Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Okay. There it goes. Alright, so left and stick it. Cool. There we go. You see the church? That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. So whenever you get close to objective, it slowly starts to zoom in and then it automatically marks for you. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. All right, cool. We well, opened up the open world. Binoculars, safe encounters, things like that. Good thing there's a zipline here. All right, we'll take two. Are we able to enter now? Nothing. Nobody's sitting here watching the door anymore. Lucky you looking up, punk. Room 
fruits and veggies. going what a day no freaking way i can do it five years hey, of bro. learning and all for nothing for some easy money i just have to get it right this time can we talk to him i guess we'll talk to him hey aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang man you were in luck there i could use some of that luck i'm alberto's apprentice not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's a Craftmaster? Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I call this invention the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? And wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever is left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Parts for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar. Agent, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.